Hi, this is Nikki, <clears throat> Poplar Picker. Today I am going to show you how to roast marshmallows in your kitchen without a campfire. Um, I'm going to roast a marshmallow um, on the kitchen stove. Um, <clears throat> kids, there's a disclaimer. Do not, uh, <clears throat> my throat's a little scratchy. Do not do this. Kids, do not do this without parental supervision or adult supervision. I don't want you burning your houses down. All right, so what you need is, obviously, a stove with a burner, electric stove, um, package of marshmallows. These are the Kraft Jet Puff Jumbo Marshmallows. A knife or a stick and then um, what you want to do is take your marshmallow put it on your knife or stick or whatever you want to call it. you can also use a fork or whatever I'm using a knife with a wooden handle so that um, so I don't burn myself um, so I'm just uh, to start roasting it now the higher the higher you are um, the slower it'll roast the closer you are the faster it'll roast sorry about the dogs in the background there I'm over at my daughter's house right now and um, Diesel, Diesel and Lugnut are brothers. My daughter has Diesel and I have Lugnut. And so they're fighting, or playing, I should say. Having fun, brothers having fun playing with each other. See, look at how nicely that's nice and toasty. Now sometimes I like mine burnt. And do the top right away before the inside starts getting soft because... You don't want it to drop on your burner and make a mess. And I mean I'm not even I'm not even making a mess on my burner here. Now you can do this on a gas stove too. Me and my mom when I was little, we had a gas stove. And um we lived in our old house. And my mom would be like, You wanna roll some marshmallows? And so then we'd get forks out and we'd roast them on the gas stove. <laughs> there, look at that. Perfectly golden brown. And then if you got some spots that aren't done, you just keep roasting it. Okay, so when I roast marshmallows, ooh, it's hot. Ooh, really hot. You gotta blow it. It's hot. I've actually done this a few times today, so I'm I'm kind of marshmallowed out. After I get that, see, I like to pull off the top. See, there's the top layer, and eat that, and then I like to roast the rest of the marshmallow. Now, if you just want to burn it, because me and my mom we love burnt marshmallows. My mom did. And I do too. Um, you can touch it on the burner like this. And if you, well, this one ain't working. There it goes. If you touch it real quick, you can start it on fire like that. And then, and then you can burn it. That's usually, and you just blow it out. Just a little torch. And then, yeah, see, and then you just start it on fire like that. I just touch it real quick. Don't, uh... Look at that. Nicely burnt. If you like it burnt. So, there it is. That's how you marshmallow, or roast a marshmallow in your kitchen when it's too cold outside to go outside and make a campfire. So, um... And like I said, this top part... I mean, that was perfectly, perfectly roasted. And it's, can you hear it? It's 
perfectly toasted. So good. Anyways, if you have a gas stove, obviously you can do this um, because it's uh, because it's flame, so that would work the same way as a campfire. If you have a glass top stove, I don't know. I have a glass top stove, but I haven't put it in yet, so I haven't tried to use it. Um, so, um, I'm not sure how a glass top stove would work. That you'd have to try yourself. All right. So anyways, talk to you later. Thanks for coming. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Um, I'm going to be bringing Listed or Ditch It back. <clears throat> and probably my walking show back in the morning. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at well around 7-ish a.m. Um, so if you want to walk with me. Other than that... Thanks for coming and watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.